Hi everybody, welcome all of you to our channel IAPT Learners Hub. Today we will be discussing about C++ programming language. This video I am going to start introduction of C++ programming language. First of all, why we need a programming language? What is the use of programming language? We will see one example here. If we need to communicate with two persons, one person knows Hindi and the other person knows Telugu. In this case, we need to identify the common language between them to communicate each other. At that time, you have to know that both of them can able to understand and speak English so that we can communicate with them by using the English language. Similarly, some specific languages are needed to communicate with the computers and those languages are called programming language. How we can communicate to the computer through programming language? Okay. As long as the instructions are written in machine language, computers can read and follow it. Why? Computer is an electronic machine. It understands only machine language made up by zeros and ones. Then how we can make use, make the computer to understand and run? How we can convert the high level language to machine language? We need a translator. What is a translator? Translator is a program. It is a language. It helps us to translate high level language into machine language made by bits and bits, zeros and ones. The popular names of the translators are assembler, compiler, interpreter. These are developed by some other countries like New York, USA, etc. Delhi. Code written in any high level language is called source code. When you change the source code into machine code, it is called object code. A translator turns the source code into object code, which the computer can understand it to translate high level language program to machine language, language program. C++ is a general purpose object oriented programming language. It was created by Bajan Stustrup at Bell Labs, 1980. Okay. C++ is very similar to C. C is invented by Dennis Ritchie in the early 1970s. Okay. C++ is so compatible with C. Why? In C++, we can combine all 99% of C programs without changing a line of source code. Okay. Though C++ is a lot of well structured and safer language than C. As, as it, it is OOPS based. C++ is a powerful general purpose programming language. What are the softwares we can write with C++ or we can create or design with C++. Using C++ we can design operating system. Okay. DOS, Windows, Index. With the help of C++. And using C++ codes we can create the softwares for operating system. Okay. Next one. Using C++ we can design editors. Like it's not bad, 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 MS word. Using C++ we can create the editors to write the text okay text editor we can create using c++ next using c++ we can commercial applications for like a building program college program hotel medicals all the softwares are related to money transactions and with the help of c++ we can create the softwares for building software college software accounting sections hotels or medicals right okay all these are related to the money transaction software. Next, using C++ we can design database like Oracle, DBase, MySQL. This also we can create. Then using C++ we can design translators. Okay, that is, it is a language or it is a soft program. Assembler, compiler, and interpreter are the translators. What is the difference between this assembler? To translate low level language to machine language. This both translate high level language into machine language. This is a, to translate a program in high level language to machine language or low level language into machine language. That software is also we can create with C++. Using C++ we can de uh, design device drivers. Like uh, CD contains printer information, keyboard information, mouse, pen drive also. That is not device drivers. We will we'll see what is a device driver. With every new printer, a company is provided a CD. That is called device driver. 
CD contains printer information. This printer information is called as is also called as printer device driver. Not only in printer, keyboard, mouse, pen drive also require device drivers. All are designed with C++. Next, using C++ we can create PC and mobile games like Super Mario, like many lot of games are there. I think you are aware of that. Next, using C++ we can design protocols that is HTTP, FTP. What is HTTP? What is the meaning? Hypertext Transfer Protocol, File Transfer Protocol. When in an internet website opened, it automatically starts with HTTP. That means Hypertext Transfer Protocol. According to all this, using C++, we are able to design different types of softwares. So it is called General Purpose Programming Language. Hope you are clear about that. Next video, I am coming with the tokens. What are the tokens in the C++? And I will explain one by one with the examples. If you like this video, subscribe the channel and like and share also. Thank you for watching.